The Women's Conference begins today in California. It is the largest gathering of women in the nation, and it is hosted by California First Lady Maria Shriver. She has invited a who's who of guest speakers, including Sherry Blair, wife of former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, and they join us this morning early, early, early from Southern California this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Mary. <laughs> Maria, let me start with you. All these women gathering together, they're going to sort of be sharing a lot of stories, uh, maybe even uh, celebrating all this achievement that women have been able to uh, claim for themselves, especially in the last decade or so. Are they going to say anything is possible? Or are they going to say almost anything is possible? I think both. I think this has been a breakthrough year for women, uh, watching, certainly watching Hillary Clinton in her historic run for the White House, now talking about Sarah Palin, seeing for the first time a woman on a Republican ticket. We have Indra Nui here, which is, uh, who is one of the most successful women in business worldwide, Condoleezza Rice. We have Sherry Blair here, who proves that there is life after being first lady uh, <laughs> with her successful book and work. So I'm very interested in watching her. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that there are women here who are talking about all these kinds of issues, jobs, caring for elderly parents, education, and saying, look how far we've come, but there's still a lot more we need to do. I guess, Mrs. Blair, that's my question for you, because as we sort of celebrate all of this in much of uh, the economically impressed world, there are millions and even billions of other people who are not partaking in, in this. How difficult is it for, I think, the people we don't think about every day, women in the rest of the world? Oh, that's absolutely true. I mean, the potential of women is just inspiring. But the problem is, across the world, women aren't being able to re realize their potential. That's for women and that's for girls, too. Across the world, when you look at which children are not at school, they are mainly girls. That's telling us something about how women are still not valued as equals. Right. And certainly women end up with so much of the economic burden in those parts of the world as well. Well, that's particularly, t and at a time now when we're facing across the world economic problems, it's women who are the ones who have to pick up the pieces, who have to find the food for their children, who have to keep the family together. That power of women to withstand anything that life throws at them is a really powerful thing. Mm. Uh, uh, in terms of this event, and as you have done this a couple of years now, Maria, when you look at all that is achieved, what does it really tell us about us? Well, I think it tells, I hope this conference inspires women, first of all, to be who they are uh, themselves, to not try to be an imitation of Sherry Blair or Condoleezza Rice or Indra Nui, but they themselves, I always say, are the leader they've been looking for. Mm. I think all of us have a gift to bring, and I think more than ever, uh, there's opportunities for all of us to serve, whether it's in nonprofits here in the United States, whether we want to look to the world and see how we can help young girls and women around the world, as Sherry said, the vast majority of the 1.6 billion people in this world who are living in extreme poverty mm. are women and children, and I think Bono will speak to that. Yeah. and several other people will speak to what we in America can do to not only lift up our brothers and sisters here in this country, but how we can actually have an impact in a woman or a girl's life somewhere very far away from here. And we can do that today. Very quickly. That's for sure. And the, when, when you look at what's happening with the Internet and how we're so yeah. much more interconnected mm -hmm. today, there is a real capacity for us to join hands across the world and really make a difference. Maria Shriver, Sherry Blair, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, and uh, great good luck on your uh, conference here. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. All right, great thank to see you. you. You bet.